Uh, here's a guitar that I made uh, around 17 years ago. I made it for myself. Music played an incredible uh, part of my life uh, as far as starting on trumpet, moving into stringed instruments, finding that uh, the pleasure and the joy of playing stringed instruments is uh, a big part of my life. Uh, and then becoming a professional musician for a while, that was uh, uh, writing songs and things like that, uh, studying classically on violin. Uh, just uh, music's been a very big part of my life. And then learning to make instruments has been the topper because that's my favorite thing to do. And that's uh, to make the utile art, something that really makes a wonderful sound and looks beautiful. I tried to make my first guitar when I was 12 years old. Uh, very frustrated, uh, ended up throwing it in my mother's fireplace and almost burning the house down because it was just, uh, it was too hard. It was too hard to do for a tw you know, 12 year old. A friend of mine made a violin that looked just like a violin, a violin looking object, but it was unplayable. And I, it always stuck in my thing that, uh, well, you just made something that is unplayable, so you're just going to hang it on the wall. But, you know, music being a part of my life, I, I want to know how something sounds, you know. So uh, I decided that uh, making uh, the instruments and hearing them is the most important part. I had studied under a violin maker for just, just a little over a year. Uh, went to work for an electric guitar making company for about a year, uh, and then just went out on my own. And that's uh, when I started uh, really buckling down and making some nice stuff. The business of making instruments and restoring instruments, that's what I do here in York and all over the United States, really. Uh, so it's just a matter of, um, I'm stationed here, so, and I like all different kinds of music, including the folk, folk music. And, and uh, so we decided that it would be a great thing to back a, a folk festival here in New York. I deal with most of the people that are either going to be playing or are going to be in the audience. So uh, it just seemed like the right thing to do to, to sponsor, you know, and to keep, um, hopefully it becomes a yearly thing and we can keep it going and, uh, and make it something that can draw people in from other places to actually, you know, see some of the talent and, uh, and have some fun. I'm going to bring a number of my instruments, the ones I make, uh, everything from guitars to bazookis to mandolins, violins, violas, cellos. I make almost anything with strings. So uh, my favorite are the carved instruments, the violin family, the mandolin family, and even some of the Baroque style instruments that we make here. The, the hand carving of them is uh, one of my favorite things to do. So we'll see a lot of that in the booth and be able to hands-on play, some uh, nice, beautiful, handmade instruments. I send, send the instruments all over the place. It's, uh, you know, it's just a matter of word of mouth, whether it's uh, at classical players or uh, you know, some of the Nashville players uh, that I sell to. Um, so I send them all over the place. I have a great guarantee that if they're not play, they play it for three months and not happy with it, I'll make them another one. So I've never had to do it, but uh, I prefer people be, be raving about my instruments and, and talking about them rather than saying, feeling stuck with one. I like backing the, the workshop stage because that helps people learn, you know, that from uh, people that know how to play, people that are professionals, you know, sit down with, with them and, and actually teach them some things about music and, and so uh, that's why we decided to do the workshop stage, you know, back the workshop stage. Mm -hmm. 